And he might be bullied even more here. Look at this smoke from the side of Cloud9. It's really nice, and there's the trap slow. Maybe he's going to get roared up, and straight away, the reaction's going to come through, but it doesn't matter. Cloud9 have already bursted down. The hookshot is there. Maybe they can find a return kill. Looking for Savage. They'll be able to find the Tusk almost suddenly. They've got the Thunderstrike down on him. It will go down. Crippling Fear onto Brax, and they'll try and chase some more. The Glimpse onto Ritsu brings him back into the middle of the kinetic field here. Four members on the side of LGD trying to fight this TA, but they'll just turn, they'll get the trap slow. And they'll have the ball slow as well. Ritsu might look to move in. Looking onto DDC, they've got the RTK moving forward, pops the cogs down, forces back the TA. Oh, MSS is coming in if he gets a call down here. Oh, DDC, yes, he's going to clip him, and here's MSS moving forward. He's got a double damage here as well. So take a look at the black cannon hits. They're just melting the side of LGD, forcing the rest of them back. It's a double kill for MSS. As he See what they come on, there's also smoke from LGD. And now it's nighttime and Nightstalker's level 7, so this is a very we different type of fight. Oh, oh DDC! No. Walks straight into it, the Static Storm's nice, catches on to two. But with a nice look on the Sonic Wave from the side, they'll burst down the Tusk. Brax gets off the roar onto Silarm. MSS moving forward as well with the cooldown. They should be able to find the Quap and they do. It's a double kill for MSS. Desperately, RTK trying to finish up Brax, but he can't do it because the Shallow Grace there for 1437. MSS gets glimpsed back. Brax does finally go down as Clockwork finishes him off with a Rocket Flare. So it does end the fight there. Two for two. Let's see if they can... Oh, he's still hanging around here, RTK. Oh, he's got the cogs. He's okay. Yeah, that that didn't land. Land. <laughs> oh, Ice Shards again! Oh, he gets himself four stars out. The Snowball will follow through, though. The Savage going right in, and here's MSS turning up to the fight. LGD trying to turn. They get the Static Storm! Oh! This Kinetic Field of Static Storm traps the three. The Red Cream as well! LGD just ripping through Cloud9. They walk forward with the Raising Praxis off the roar. Now Ritsu's trying to turn. He's got a Refraction up. They have found three. He's looking for more. Silo will be able to blink himself away. So the fact that Ritsu did get that refraction off meant that they could turn it, but it was a very nice static storm there from the Disruptor and a beautiful fight cloud only just smoke up and go into the Roche bit here, and they do. They'll just go for Man, the Roche. Man, they steal this. I mean, or LGD, they need to get themselves in there. It's the flare, that's a big flare, and there's your hook shot straight through from RGD. Oh, the, the kinetic film, the static storm, onto three of them, and he snaps the Aegis. Clockwork with the Aegis. DDC's trying to finish off, but now your all comes out. Ritsu getting the damage out, pops the BKB, but it's a triple kill for maybe. BKB versus BKB. Ritsu's closing in, the damage is too much from this TA. They will get off the cogs. E Holmes, oh, sorry, ROTK Verosity will lose the Aegis. But Silar and SF cleaning up, they'll move forward onto Ritsu. He's the last man standing here. And maybe not be for very much longer. The flare's there to cancel the blink, and now the blink fall from Sila. Close the gap. Ritsu has got the refraction up, and now we'll get the blink away. You're going to get the weave down as, as the armor will begin to build up. Well, this is confident. High. And going straight in here. What's well, LGD's response? They'll lay down the fortification. Still hanging about. They get the glimpse back on MSS and it will trap him here in the kinetic field. They're not going to lay down the static storm or anything more though. And the flag cannon hits just forcing LGD back. They have got that fair bit of armor on maybe. So he can still afford to front line, but the tier 3 is now gone. With super links back. That's your Manta style using. They've got the hooks on MSS. So it looks like they should be able to pop the Aegis and they will. That's the Aegis down now for Cloud9. The Necro army coming into the base as well. Oh, now they MSS getting too. next up as well, but Prax, he gets the rod side, and now Ritsu just jumps ready, he deletes the Disruptor, he finds Sada as well, and now they look for maybe, maybe still with a hefty bit of armor, will be able to survive there with a BKB, moves back, but two down on the side of LGD, neither of them with buyback, and Cloud9, they'll look to take the middle racks here, and LGD just don't have an answer, they'll be lucky that they do still have the tier 2s in both of the side lanes, for the second set of racks in a tier 3. And that'll be the glimpse back buying some time, forcing MSS away from the base, but he just waltzes himself back up. Tier 3 to 4. And Silai, he's got a missile aimed on his head, so he's got to be careful what he does here. They'll lose the top range racks, and it looks like to be the melee as well. Six seconds before SF is back. Let's see how safely Cloud9 play it. Rippling through onto Ritsu, the hook shot as well, but the roars down to the clockwork, and clockwork just melts to the damage of Ritsu. He's down, the trap slows down to DDC and MSS, and Ritsu moving forward with their BKBs. They'll find a the nice talk. It's a godlike streak here for Ritsu on the TA. Sonic Wave comes through, but he just doesn't do enough at this point. Maybe he's in the front lines, but he's going to fall again for the second time. He's down once more. GG is called, and Cloud9 are taking this series to third game since. I think very few people expected that Cloud9 will be showing up this uh, this well so far. I, I think in both games they've been showing really solid plays. This game, I'm not sure about LGD's decision to just sack SF as hard as they did. Just let him get killed four times in yes. a row in that mid.